Hey everybody, it's Doug here, Doug Mystica on Board Game Geek, bringing you our next episode of Lord of the Rings, Journeys in Middle-Earth. Uh, we're, we're pretty deep in this one, I think we're going on, I don't know, 10 or so episodes, and uh, I believe it's it, this this uh, session will come up to wrap pretty soon. I showed uh, the Overland uh, part of the scenario, now I'm showing the more tactical part of the scenario, and we're going to get right into it. I did want to make a correction real quick, though, before we load up our game. Let's do it with attacks, and I, I, I think this is correct, though, I'm still... Not 100% certain that... So, if, if I hit, if I do, like, um, three hits, I can you do both of those and do a combination of six, seven, eight hits and sunder. But I wasn't sure about it. I did do this. It wouldn't have mattered. I, I still would have had a victory out of it because I did enough hits. But I, I had four hits, so I did I doubled that up. I don't know if you can do that or not. It was suggested that you can't. Uh, I'm not going to take anything back. I just wanted to say, if I do that again, I, I won't do that. I will use the maximum amount of hits on the card. But just want to draw. Just want to point that out as a possible error on my part. So keep your eyes open for that. And let's load up our game for our the next round. Okay, so we got our, our game here. Douglas the guy Bones of Anor, Chapter Two with Gimli and Bilbo. We're going to resume. And see what happens. Now we were we should be going right into our action phase because that's where I left off. So I'm just going to let it set up. And yeah, we were in our action phase. There is our map, and let's get to the table. And as everybody said, we're going to go with Gimli first because everybody said, get him to attack this guy. Absolutely an important thing to do. So, he is going to take his first action to move. It's going to be one, two, over to here. And then for his next action, I'm looking to see if he's got anything that will be useful to him at this moment. No, but that's okay. We're going to then attack the orc leader who is right here. We're going to get him, see if we can put him down. So for his second action, we're going to pull this guy up. This is Golgothor, or Golgothor, the orc leader, orc champion, and we're going to give him an attack. Now, he's probably not going to go down with one attack. He, well, even if I max it out, I'd have to max out the whole thing to get that to happen. Let's see if we can pull that off. Anyway, let's do it and see what happens. We're going to do our attack. Again, we are using Gimli, who is going to use his battle axe. Here's his battle axe here. It is a strength-based, might-based weapon, so we're going to draw four cards for our test and see what we get. Here's the first of those four cards. That is a success. That is outstanding. Let's see what the next one is. That two is this. Now we know we have six. If I get one more, which I can, I, I'm probably going to be able to do eight hits in Sunder, which means we might kill him in one shot. That is a uh, nothing. And, oh, perfect. Okay, so here's what we got. We have two hits right here, so we know that we are going to be able to do the six hits. But, and I, I know this we can do. We don't get anything here, but with this one, I can spend his inspiration. Sorry, not this this card. This card, rather. Um, I can spend his inspiration to turn that into a success as well, giving us three successes with his battle axe, which is going to give us eight hits and sunder. That was about as good as we could get. So we're going to hit Sunder, and you notice that knocked his armor down one immediately. We Sundered his armor, then we're going to apply eight hits to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, we did not kill him, <laughs> but we almost did. So, uh, can the enemy attack? Yes, he can. Unfortunately, he's still alive by one. Oh, the Orc Lieutenant knows much of battle uh, much and combat to your dismay. Uh, we can you we we're going to be able to test. Uh, let's see what is that? That is going to be wisdom, really wisdom to negate, and it's a big whopper. Three hits and three fear. Let's see what Gimli can do to avoid that. His ringmail is going to help him in this case because if you would test wisdom, uh, agility, um, or wit, you can test with might instead. So we're going to do that. However, we already know he's not going to he's not likely to succeed because all of successes were in the attack. Now, we can take this hit, but it doesn't say face down damage. So this is going to be a brutal, brutal attack on Gimli. I don't think we can do anything else about it. I'm looking at his, his uh, other stuff. I don't think so. Let's see what he gets. Oh, there's a success. So fantastic. So we get to negate one of them, but I think that's going to be about it. Uh, yeah. There's our, our bad card. And, yeah, so we got one success out of that. That means we're going to negate one of those hits, and I think we're going to make it... Uh, he's only got a four fear. He's got six hits. <sighs> I think we'll take the hits. The physical hits, we'll take all three. And on the fear, we're going to drop it by one. So we're going to reduce it by one. But let's do the damage now. Ouch. we got to kill this guy right now. Now, I think we are going to continue our attack with Bilbo on this guy and see if we can put him down. That might end the scenario. I don't know if that's true. But there, I just shuffled this up. I'll give it a cut. 
let's see what we get. So the first card, the first damage card we get is Weariness. Flip this card face down. That is one of his three. Okay, second one. Weariness again. Flip this card face down. You saw that I shuffled it, so... Okay, that's weird. I shuffled the heck out of this. He got. Th I'm going to play it, though, because that's the way it goes. I mean, I was shuffling the heck out of this right before I drew those cards, and they weren't stacked together anyway. So we got a little lucky. He got very weary from that attack. He took three hits. He's got three hits, face-down hits on him right now. I'm just going to put them a little closer together. Now we got his fear. He's going to take two of these. Um, and the reason he's going to take two of these is because... Ooh, the app just shut down. I mean, weird. Okay, well, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, I just wasn't at it, the app long enough. We're going to confirm these in a minute, but I want to do these two hits. Okay. Let's do that, and we're going to cut it one more time. Boom. There we go. We're going to do two of these. Let's see what he gets. Uh, gloom. Flip this card face down. That's good, so it's just fear, and then he's going to do one more. Okay, guys, I shuffled the heck out of this. There must be a lot of those in there. So gloom and gloom. There are his, that's his damage, and that is going to mark the end of his turn. But we're going to move on to Bilbo. So for Bilbo's first action, oh wait, after you attack, place one of the cards from your attack, which I didn't do. I would have placed one of these successes. Uh, I think I would have done Restless Axe, because I might want that card. Put it on top, as it suggests I can. That would have actually given us two successes, but it would have. I probably would have. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to say that's true. I'm going to I'm going to discard this again because if I had played my ability right, I keep forgetting about this ability of his. I would have taken two and two, so we'll do that. They're all the same anyway, so it's not going to hurt us to do that. Um, and that's where he ends off. Okay, let's go to Bilbo now. First, we're going to confirm that that is done. Okay, now Bilbo. All right. Here's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to first before we play anything, we're going to at the start of your turn. You may discard this to scout two, then gain one inspiration. So we're going to do that, and it says for each, uh, it says for each aid, food, or song in our um, play area, we gain uh, an inspiration. So we don't have any right now. We just we just have these two. So we're going to scout two. So this is going to get discarded. We're going to scout two with him. What's the first card? It's going to be clever wit, and then. Oh, okay, the road goes ever on as a song, so we'll take the road goes ever on. We're going to put this on the bottom of our deck and try and get to some successes. That was helpful. And now we're going to, oh, and then we do get one inspiration for having a song in our play area. And the song is, the road goes ever on, it says, during your turn, you may discard the skill for you and each nearby hero to move up to one space. We may actually use that, but we'll see. Now we're going to attack the orc leader again. And hopefully we'll kill him this time, right? Come on, come on up. He's only got one hit left, so hopefully we can do anything. If we get one hit, we're going to get him. We need two points of damage. We'll see what we can do. First, we're going to be using Bilbo's Dagger, which one hit will give us, or one success will give us two hits. Let's see what we can get here. All right, so, he's it, again, the Dagger uses Wit as our attack score. Our Wit is four, so we're going to draw four cards for success. Okay, we know that that is not a success. That is not either, but we do have two Inspiration. We're going to get him. There we go, Quiet, and I got one more. Two successes without using any inspiration. That's going to be enough. That's going to be three hits with Pierce. So we're just going to leave it at that. We're going to discard those and go do the damage. Okay, now let's do this. We're going to apply one, two, and three. Perfect. Apply. Apply three hits. Yes. Boom! We killed Golgotar. Golgotar. Remove Golgotar. Your nearby hero gains one inspiration. Gimli is nearby, so we're going to give him one inspiration instead of taking it with Bilbo, because Bilbo already has two, so we're okay there. And we remove Golgotar from the board. He is kaput. And what happens next? Golgotar falls to his hands and knees, gasping for air and spitting dark, vicious blood. You step forward to subdue him, but something in the orc's carriage gives you a moment warning. In a flash, he lashes out and attempts to sweep your legs from beneath you with his with his own. The hero who defeated Golgotar tests agility. That's good. That's it's good that it's Bilbo. He's more agile, and we got his, lots of inspiration. So we're probably going to be okay here. I hope. Plus, we have this honed agility. When you test agility, you may discard this to add one. So we're going to do well here, I believe. Let's see what he gets. So again, agility is three. So we're going to draw three cards. First one is nothing. Second one is a success. That is fantastic. And the third one, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, well, let's get three successes out of this. Okay, so there's two right there. We're going to discard the Honed Agility card and use that ability. That's going to give us three successes. Boom! What do we get here? Let's see. 
You easily evade the attack, but Golgator is soon back upon his feet, blade in hand. Place Golgator in a space with the hero who tested. Continue your assault. What? You serious? All right. Well, and just when you think it's all over, Golgator is back. Was not so easily defeated. But we're not done with uh, Bilbo's turn. Um, here's what I think we're going to do. He is going to play... The, ro the, the Road Goes Ever On. That's his song. He's going to discard that to move him and Gimli to here. Um, God, I, I want to move him over here and go to that token because we're going to have a terrible event happen. He won't be able to, to do anything about it, though. So if he goes there this turn, it won't matter. Let me just see if he's got any stuff. Oh, i got to remember, he's got Exhaustion and Dazed. Keeps before you interact with a token, you must spend one inspiration. Oh, Forgot about that. Yeah, he's in bad shape. And when we scout during the rally phase, we cannot place cards on top of my deck. i got to remember that, too. That, that'll be okay. That's not, it's bad, but it's not horrible. Um, hmm. I think we're just going to move them there out of the... Make G uh, Golgator come to us. I think that's the right thing to do. Hopefully he does not attack Bilbo. Because Bilbo's got a less chance of surviving that attack. Okay, that is going to be the end of our phase though. We, we defeated Golgator. I hope maybe that'll do something with the threat track. I don't know. We'll see. Defeating Golgator fast might have been a bit of a ruse for us. We probably need to get rid of that threat token. But let's see. This is going to be the end of the action phase. So we're going to confirm and we're going to the shadow phase. Now let's see what happens. It says defeat Golgator still. Move to attack Bilbo or the closest hero. Who moves to? Oh, the ruffian moves to. Okay. Um, that's interesting. It's got the ruffian highlighted, so that's who it is. So the ruffian is going to move to Bilbo and give him an attack, uh, which he will do. He does have that ability. And here we go. Let's see what happens. A ruffian strikes two swords together with frightening clang. Uh, we're going to do, um, let's see, is that, yeah, wit to negate. Is that wit? Or no, wisdom to negate. So we're going to do wisdom to negate. That's a two for Bilbo. It's not great. Hopefully he can get negate these with his next two cards. Uh, nothing there that is bad, so we know we're going to suffer one. Well, hmm, do I spend both of these and negate that? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to spend both of his inspiration, and that because because of this card, I can do that with these two, and we're going to negate both those uh, that both of that damage. Okay, we're going to confirm that. Now what's going to happen? Now the goblin moves two to attack Gimli. Uh, he cannot do it. He has no target. He's not close enough to move two and attack. So no target. Which means it's just going to move farther. Snarling, the goblin stalks after you, de determined to draw blood. Move forward toward the nearest hero. Okay. He is going to go one, two, three, over to where Gimli and Bilbo are. And that's going to be the end of his action. This is not too easy. Let's continue. See what happens next. The shadow deepens through, though hope yet endures. Increase the threat by five. That means we're going to have this encounter. What happens now? Ouch. Place one orc is indicated on the space. Okay, that is not fantastic. So we're going to have an orc in the space there. It looks like an orc archer. Orc hunter, rather. Here he is. He's with Golgator now. I'm sure that's not all that's going to happen there. Place two ruffians is indicated in the space. They keep coming out of that gate. i got to get over there and deal with that. Here are the two ruffians with the stand that we're required to place with them with. That tells you two places. Right there on the app and also right there with the Mini, look, we got a lot of enemies on the board. Okay, uh, rally phase. Great, we are in the rally phase. Oh, thank God. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rally with uh, Bilbo. Now, Bilbo doesn't have any inspiration. So, and I cannot place cards on the top of the deck. That's pretty rough. Uh, but we're going to take a chance on something here. Let's see what he gets anyway. I'm shuffling up his, his deck here. Okay, that's good. We're going to draw the first two. So, Turkish parts, that's a success. Um, and self-sufficient. When you test, if there are no nearby heroes, you may, and we can also hide. We'll take that. We can't, unfortunately, put this on. Man, you know what? Before you test, you may discard the skill. I think we're in... This one, put this one with no success on the bottom. We'll take this one for now. I, it doesn't really matter, but it does... Make, maybe put us in a position where we have an um, inspiration card on top, which means when I go to interact, I can pull one and then use it to do this. It says, um, no, to do this one, just, uh, it says, keep this card before you interact. Oh, with a threat token, you must spend one inspiration. He cannot interact with that threat token this turn. That kind of bites. 
All right, that is the end of his rally phase. Let's go to Gimli's. All right, well, we got Gimli's cards right here. I think Gimli's going to have to be the one. we got to close that Porculus. I do think we're going to have Bilbo hide, though. We'll see. We'll see how this goes, guys. I don't know. Um, I, I shouldn't have spent both the inspiration, but I thought it was wisest to do that, to not take the damage for Bilbo. And we didn't. So let's do this. He's got a Poet's Heart. Before you interact with a person, token, gain one inspiration. That's not going to help, but it is a rest card. So let's see. He's got three cards up right now. Let's see what else he gets. Ancient Wisdom. Uh, when you test Wisdom, you may discard this to add one to the roll. Those are his two cards. I think what we're going to do... He's, let me see. What's Kinship do? Before a, near, you, before a nearby hero tests, you may discard the skill for that hero to reveal two additional cards. If they are a dwarf, you may scout one. Okay. That's really good. But, here we go. Um, Poet's Heart. We're going to... I like this one because we can rest. We're going to take that one. We're going to put this on... Ancient Wisdom on the bottom of his deck. And that's what we'll, we'll start as. We have four cards now, so we cannot take any more. Uh, we cannot ready any more cards. This could be the rally phase for us. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now we're back in the action phase. Now I have to really think about this because I need to get, I think I need to get that Porculus co closed. That's the threat tokens on the board because it continues to, I think, crank out bad guys. Now you notice we're only at two away from a third, the next threat thing, so we're going to have the next threat event happen. i got to close that. That's probably going to back off the threat quite a bit if I can close that Porculus. So, by the way, I think that, I, I think in moving... I'm going to look it up. In moving, I think you can move out of the space with the enemy without any issues. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look just to be sure. I don't quite remember. I played too many games. <laughs> so I've got to look at each one. If a hero moves into a space exploring after enemies' groups are provoked, if in this way, if the hero moves either because of travel action or a game effect that causes them to well, move, if a hero wishes to move out of a space that contains one or more enemies, before that hero moves, they must provoke each readied enemy in the group space. After provoking each enemy, okay, well, let me think about this, because I he, I guess he's, if he attacks, he won't, well, if he attacks and wins, we, and kills those guys, we might gain inspiration, right? I can give it to Bilbo, who can then get out of that space, perhaps. So, we're going to take the first action for Gimli, and we're going to attack the ruffian, because I think he's the easier one to kill. So, Gimli's going to attack the ruffian. Okay, so, that's this guy right here. Um, we're going to attack him. We don't know with what yet, so let's go draw our cards. Once again, Gimli is using his battle axe, so... Oh, that's bad. That's nothing. That's, we can use an inspiration to get two hits, but that's not going to be enough. Nothing. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, guys. That is bad. That is bad. When you need to test, if you do not reveal a success, you may discard... The skill to convert, yeah, that doesn't help us. When you test, no, nope, that doesn't help us either. So right now, we're only going to do two hits and sunder on him, which is not going to be enough to kill him. That's going to be the end of that, and that's if we use the inspiration. So let's do that. I don't think sunder is going to matter with him. It doesn't, because that's for armor. But we're going to apply two hits. Boom. Confirm. Okay. Yes, he can attack back. Okay. Um... A man un unsheathes his huge sword and attacks, negate two uh, wounds and one fear. Might to negate anyway, so this isn't that helpful, but we're going to see if we can negate it. Oh, after a successful attack, attack I can put a card on top. Do I care? I don't. We're going to leave it alone. I didn't want to do that. That's this ability. i got to remember to do that. Okay, let's see what he gets. There's a success. There's a success. And... There is not, not a success and not a success. So I'm going to stop two of those. I believe we'll take it in uh, damage. So let's get the damage cards out. I'm going to take one hit. And that's it. So let's see what we get. Um, okay, well, and you know what? I put that on top. I need to shuffle this real quick. Okay, now let's do that. All right. Um, it is going to be uh, shaken. Flip one damage card face up, then flip one face down. Okay. We'll flip that one face up, but it just says flip this card face down. So I don't know if we do that. I'll leave it up for now. And this goes face down. That's all that happens, but he does have three wounds on him now. Ouch, not going well for our heroes, is it? Well, I know I've limited... Oh, you know what, though? Hold on. No, I'm... Okay, so I'm limited in what I can do here. Let's 
think about this significantly. Not much of a choice. I can either move Gimli out of there and, and face attacking or stay there and do nothing. I think it's worth giving it a try. We're going to try and attack this guy again. He's got three damage. Let's give it a go. See if we get one success. We won't kill him. Wait, we still won't kill him. It's only going to be two hits. Hmm, I don't think it's worth attacking. I thought, okay, we're not going to attack and we're not going to move. This is a bad turn for us, guys. But we're when we get to the end of our turn, we are going to do this. We're going to rest to at the end of the turn to discard two face-up cards. Or, sorry, two face-down cards, rather. So we're going to discard two our two wounds since we have we'll discard one of each one of each of these and that'll heal him up some and that gives us with a couple cards we can deal with and then we're going to go to Bilbo and and well is there anything else we can do let me think about our turn actions uh, travel interact or attack that's really all we can do I don't think we're going to do that because um, I don't want to provoke them um, hmm, let me think. I just don't see any value in him moving out of that space. This is unfortunate. Because all he would do is move in to be attacked by others. I think we're going to get mobbed here, guys. We're in a bad, bad situation. Um, okay, well, I think we're just going to blow that the rest of that, that action. We took half our action and attacked. I could attack again, but I can't kill him. Which means he's going to attack us back. Uh, at least Bilbo has a chance to kill him. But then we won't get the portcullis closed. He's going to have to try and provoke an attack. Let me see. I think what we can do... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. We're going we're gonna to have to do that. So Bilbo, we're going to go to Bilbo next. That is going to end Gimli's turn, unfortunately. Not sure what else to do there. But we are going to start uh, Bilbo's turn with an attack on that uh, ruffian. So we are going to use his dagger. It is going to take... Uh, wit. So we're going to draw four cards. There's a success. We know we got two hits on him. There's an inspiration. Nope. And nope. One more. Come on with a success. No. Okay. Well, we got... We did not do enough to kill him. So we got two hits in our first action. That means he's going to hit us back. This sucks. Okay. Well, we're going to apply two more hits. Yes. Unfortunately, the guy gets to attack back again. Wait, he didn't. He did not attack us back. That is interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna use uh, Bilbo's second attack to do it again. I mean, God, we're wasting a lot on this guy, but we got to kill some of these bad guys, right? Okay, he's only got one left, so odds are are good. He needs an inspiration to go close the Porculus anyway because of the problem he has. There's a success. Two, three, four. Okay, so we got two more hits on the ruffian. That's gonna kill him. Feels like a horribly wasted turn, guys. One, two. He is dead. I'm going to apply two hits on him. Took all three of our... It took three of our actions to kill one ruffian. Remove one ruffian. Near, nearby hero gains inspiration. We're going to give that to Bilbo. The ruffian is gone. Let's uh, confirm that. See if it doesn't else. Nope. And then we'll give one inspiration to Bilbo. That was not worthy. That was not worth it. Okay. Now, I think we are going to... Nah, she's... Mm. I need to get to that Porculus, and I just think if we just stay there, we're just going to keep getting mobbed by enemies. Maybe. So, well, I can... That, well, that was both of his attacks. What am I talking about? That was both of his attacks. We, we can't do anything. That was everything for him, so we're done. Ouch. Okay, well, let's end the action phase. Shadow phase. This is going to be a tough shadow phase, guys. Move to attack Bilbo. That is going to be the goblin. He's already in his space, so he's going to attack Bilbo with two hits. Okay, well there's some good news there. Using We are using Might to negate. I, I'm going to be able to negate most of it because I have this Undying Might. We can negate this. We can use that to gain one success. But our Might is only a two. It does say before you suffer a wound or I can spend one inspiration to prevent it. I'm not going to do that, okay? Um, there's no success there. No success there. Okay, so he is going to uh, use his undying might. I'm not going to spend the inspiration, and I'm going to take one hit from the, the goblin. Why do, am I doing that? Well, let me see. I got two already. I can only take four because I've got to close that portcullis down. That threat token is going to get us. What does this say? Um, stunned. Flip one face down damage and one face down 
Oh, flip one face, one, flip <laughs> one damage and one fear face up, then discard this card. Okay, discard. Okay, that's good. So this card is gone. Uh, both of these are already face up, so it's just one fear. Uh, gloom, there you go. So we have some gloom and doom, and that's that. All right, that wasn't too terrible. I confirmed that. And then it says the next one is, oh, the big the big bad guy. This is going to be awful. Uh, he's going to move here and attack Bilbo, so it says the app. So let's see what he does to Bilbo. Four damage to fear. That will kill Bilbo unless we get have a miracle happen right now. Uh, it is uh, it says, um, wiz no, wit to test. That's good. That's four cards, but still. There's a success, so we're going to get rid of one. There's our bad card, and that's it. So right now we have one. I don't think there's any way I can avoid his demise. I can get to two. He's still going to take two. Um, I'm not going to spend it because he can't. we can't prevent him. Let me show you. It's a total of six damage, right? We cannot prevent this. So he's going to go over immediately on this. I can prevent one of them out of four. So that would give him three hits here. He can only take one more, so he is going to go into a bad position again. This could be the end of the game for us. So what we do here is we confirm this. We're going to go here. We're going to Bilbo. Uh, perform a last stand with Bilbo. Is the damage from the last stand fear damage? It's damage. Uh, you muster uh, your last ounce of strength. Test might two. What happens if you have to test and you're out of cards? I need to look at that. We can't rally. Hold on, let me just check something. Okay, it's the rules that says that you reset your deck when you have no more cards in your skill deck. So, maybe we'll pass this might test anyway. I have nothing that can alter that, so it's just going to be two cards, and we're going to have to get two on, we're going to have to get a success on each one. We may end up spending this inspiration anyway. If we fail, I think we're done. I think this is, we're hosed. So if I do get the ability to do that, uh, we will do it, though... This might be the end of Bilbo. That would be bad. I, I wonder if I think that's going to end the game if I, I lose Bilbo. I don't know. Okay, there's that. I'm going to give it one more cut. See if that was lucky. Nothing. That's okay. Well, that, that means we cannot. So, well, there's that. So we have one success. We need two. This is a might test. There's nothing I can do to change that. So we failed. Uh oh, what happens now? Remove your figure from the map at the start of the next shadow phase. You will fail this adventure. Okay. So what does that mean? If it's the start of our next shadow phase. We failed. We failed the adventure. All right, guys. So let's go back to the board. Now, these guys say they're going to move to and attack Gimli. We know that Bilbo has been kaput. And I think that's going to be the end of the game. I think we got overwhelmed. I believe that this attacking the villain first was a mistake. We should have gone for that token first. That probably would have helped us a lot, but we're going to attack Gimli with those guys. They do uh, one physical damage and two fear. Let's see what he can do. Now he's going to test with his ring mail. Or actually it says test with wisdom. So because it's test with, or is that wisdom? Yeah, wisdom. Because test with wisdom, we get to test with might. He's going to draw all four of his cards. Let's see what he can get. Well, he negated one of them, two of them. And so he negated two of the hits. I think he'll just, he'll take one physical damage let's draw that card and see what that is uh, crushed despite oh deplete one if you're uh, without resolving these effects okay then flip this card down i gotta look at deplete real quick i haven't encountered that before so i'm not recalling what it does uh, luckily there is a fantastic reference book with this game uh, that tells you every single thing so we're going to look up deplete real quick um Depletion tokens. Okay, depletion tokens are placed on trinkets to track the number. So we would deplete a trinket, but we don't have one. So that is that crushed thing doesn't do anything. It says deplete one of your trinkets. That's what it says. We don't have any trinkets. We are okay there. Uh, so that's the damage he took. Last but not least, we have this little fellow here. He's going to attack Gimli with range. Let's see what he gets. Uh, two, two attacks and a fear. Two damage and a fear. It is going to be agility to negate, but... Uh, we so but bad news there. We cannot use our ring mail to negate an agility attack. So we only have one. We get to draw one card. His agility is only two. So he's going to take some more damage. He's already got three physical damage. 
and one fear. So he's going to take at least two, one, one of each at the very least. We'll see. Okay, just shuffling all this up. Uh, he's overwhelmed. He's not going to make it out of there alive. I mean, we're going to end at the shadow phase anyway, so let's see what he gets here. Um, so one card, he failed. So he took two more physical damage. Now he can take it, but let's draw them and see what it is. You can take one more fear. So he takes laceration. Flip one face up, or one face... Flip one face up. There we go. Okay. Then flip this card face down. Okay. So he's got those ones face up. He's got to take one more, which says, discard two prepared cards or suffer two face down. Well, he'll, he'll discard time of need and undying. Um, he discarded two face up prepared cards and then discard this card. Okay. I will do that. And then he's going to take one fear as well. Let's see what that looks like. A uh, gloom. Flip this card face down. Okay. So he survives the round, but it doesn't matter because after the, the shadow deepens, the hope yet the threat increases by five, which means yuck. the fort walls echo with the sound of battle. Test your uh, spirit if you pass, gain one inspiration. And we'll see what happens there. Then it goes into our rally phase. Okay, I suppose we can try and defeat the bad guy again, but let's first test um, our spirit as it suggested. Okay. We did succeed with that. I got three on spirit. So we succeeded, and I think it was one. Oh man, how do you go back? I didn't, I should have finished reading it. Anyway, I'm, I think he gains an inspiration for that. Okay. I think it just, okay. Anyway, now we got a scout too. So we're gonna reset our deck. It is our rally phase. We're completely surrounded by enemies. We're wounded. We can only take three, uh, two more hits and two more fear before we're dead. And I guess the only thing we can try to do is maybe take a big swipe at the big baddie. See if we can kill him with two swipes from our axe. And if we can't, then that's the end of that. Okay. We have to the end of this round to win or lose, so I might as well keep going, right? Okay, I think I've shuffled that up well enough. Okay, our scouting phase. Uh, Rustless axe. Okay, we're not... And then the other one is going to be clever wit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this... We're not going to ready this card, even though this is cool, we want the success. So we're going to put that on top, and we're going to take this one, put it on the bottom of our deck, okay? That's going to be our rally phase, so I've done that. Now we have our action phase. So, what we're going to do, we're going to face off Gimli versus the big bad guy while all the other enemies surround us and see if we can get him. We're going to attack him twice and see what we can do. That's really the only option we have. So that is him. Yeah, look, he's back to completely normal. Let's see what we can do and attack him. Hopefully we can get eight hits here. Let's see. We know we got one. Okay, there is one hit. Two. Nope. But we do have we can use an inspiration, so we're gonna get at least six hits. No. And we'll come on, one more. Give us three. No. Okay, well, that means we're going to do six total hits to him, but we did not sunder his armor. And to do that, I had to spend that inspiration, so I'll make sure to do that. But we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna apply that. Bam. Unfortunately, we're going to get attacked back. Yes, he can. Oh, four and one. I think this might be the end of it, guys. We'll see. Before hero tests, it doesn't say what kind of test. You may discard the skill for that hero to reveal to... That's, a, I think, another hero, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we can do that. Anyway, this is gone. We're going to test uh, <laughs> agility. So we're going to pull one card. He's oh, he, he's going to have to... Yeah, this is going to be it. Well, we got a success. So we reduced one. So that's going to be three physical hits. And that's that's actually, that's it. That's all we draw. Okay. So let's uh, go do that. We can test... Well, wait. we No, we can't attack. If it's agility, we stuck with it. Our remail's heavy and it wears us down. So, fortunately, we needed to gate two of those to succeed. So we're going to confirm that. And then we're going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last stand for Gimli. Uh, is this damage or fear? This is damage. Uh, we're going to test Might 1. Hopefully we pass. Okay, let's do that. We're going to draw four cards. One, two, three. Nope. And we succeed. Okay, so we're going to pass, but that's two of our successes right there. So we passed. Discard all face down uh, damage. Gain one inspiration and continue this adventure. Okay, well, here we go. 
Well, our face down damage would be this and the other ones we didn't, didn't draw. Okay, so we're, we still have three damage on us, so that didn't help us that much. We do gain an inspiration back, and then for a second action, he's going to attack again. There's really nothing else he can do. So we're going to attack the big, big bad guy again. Let's see what we get here. We're going to draw Might with his axe. We can, Mac, we can get six more hits and kill him if we get lucky. There, we're going to do it. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so we did get one. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. We're going to spend these two to get a hit and burn that inspiration to hit him again for a total of six more points of damage. I think that'll do it. Because with his armor back, he got he got up to five. One, two, three, four. We're not going to kill him. Four, six, apply. Confirm. Well, we tried, guys. He's going to attack Gimli back. I think this is going to be in the Gimli. Uh, okay, let's try. The good news here is he can use his ring mail because it's using um, wisdom to negate. So if it's wisdom, he can turn it to might. So we're going to have to shuffle up his deck. This will be his first of four cards. It's going to be that one. We know it's not a success. Wow, this is rough. Thought we could try and kill him, but we're not going to make it, people. We're not going to make it. We're going to lose this battle and lose this adventure. That's going to suck. But it is what it is. So it makes it fun. If, if you won every time, it wouldn't be any fun, right? Okay, let's see. Two, three, no, nope, we're hosed. Uh, no successes whatsoever. So he takes three. That's going to put him at six damage. That's the maximum he can take. So let's see what he takes. We'll, t we'll do the damage. Uh, weariness, that's so going to go face down. Weariness again. There must be a lot of those cards. Face down, and he's going to take one more. A concussion. Keep this card face up. Decrease each of your stats by one. Ouch. It doesn't matter because he take he took his maximum again. So let's go back to the board. He also went over on fear, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, so we're going to confirm that, and we're going to do a last stand with Gimli again. Two last stands, guys. This damage. It's damage. Test might two. Okay. Good news here is we might succeed. Nope. One. Oh. There's one. Nope, we failed. Okay, I bet you that's going to end it for us right there. Okay, we failed. Uh, yeah, at, you have fallen. Remove your figure from the map at the start of the next shadow phase. You will fail this adventure. Okay, continue. Okay, the sun rises, and in the gray light of dawn, your strength finally gives out. You push forward to finish your task, but the defenses of your foe remain unbroken. More defenders slip down from the walls and around you. You have run out of time. The great orc lieutenant Golgatar jeers incessantly as you make your hasty escape and barely avoid being surrounded and captured. You set up camp a short distance away, hoping to remain out of the bandit's sight while keeping them within your own. You spend the night resting and recovering and following the morning, you realize that your foes have slipped away in the darkness. You pack quickly and locate the trail, intent to not lose the quarry again. The heroes have let Gol Golgator and his band escape. They will need to follow close behind to have a chance of stopping the dark plot afoot. Lore increases by one. Each hero receives three experience points. So we ended that adventure with a failure. Now we're going to see what happens from there. Uh, we're going to go on to chapter three, Dark Eglantine. But we're not going to. We are not going to continue this adventure. That showed you both parts of the adventure. Um, we're going to save and quit right there. But let's see. Let's see what happens. We're not going to continue, but let's just see what happens because I, I want to know if we get to spend any of our stuff. We do. We get to spend. Uh, we got experience to spend. So let's take a look at this. We're a burglar with seven. Um, seven points we get some stuff we can do so with seven points we got what's in my pocket hidden blades self-sufficient unseen strike huh i like sneaking for bilbo let's let's do no that's only three let's do um unseen strike okay um perfect let's do go back now we got unseen strike and then gimli let's see what he's got he's got seven as well we can do grimazov guarded strike Voice like ringing steel. What's Grim Resolve do? I didn't want to, I just want to see what it did. We'll do Grim Resolve because we lost. That seems like that would make sense. Okay, so we spent our experience points. We have 10 lore. I don't think that's going to get us any other items, right? Yeah, we don't have enough to continue to buy items. Okay, so we would uh, continue, and I think it's going to start telling us the setup. So, 
Um, we're not going to do that. We'll, we'll save and quit right there, but that's going to be the end of our adventure, guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I, subscribing rather. I hope that gave you a very good um, hint at how this game plays out. You can watch some other ones. They may have won or lost. I don't know. We got into a bit of, I think going after that enemy first was not the right move. We should have gone and closed the portcullis first and then went after the bad guy. But I thought with two heroes, we might be able to kill him quickly. And we did, but we found out that was a bit of a red herring um, because he got right back up again. So, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this series. We're going to get on to the next one shortly. i got so much to do and not enough time to do it in. But uh, I appreciate you watching, and thanks so much. I'll talk to you in the next series. Take care.